clip of the gunshine state. Ha. What them boys still boating in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating, it's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk, that can get you killed down here. Niggas better learn the lingo, cause they'll be looking for you in that water, finding Nemo. See Palm Beach County be the craziest. Them Broad County niggas be the craziest. And them Dade County niggas be the wildest. Shout out to Bell Glazer, my niggas at Fort Myers. Salute to all my Florida boys out here on the ground. When niggas out here getting dough with that snow and the sunshine. Ducking nine, waiting at the port to bring in that order. Cause niggas like the pen don't want come cross that water. Welcome to South. I was Florida. born in the South, South. raised in the South. South. A Dade County nigga that was made in the South. Sunshine. Yo. What's going on, man? What's going on? Uh, if you were here, man, hit the like button, share whether you're watching on Twitter or whether you're looking at us on YouTube, man. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the Caneville, Caneville YouTube. Uh, first out the back, man. Listen, boy, young boy Jakari Brown trending, man. We got it. We, we got it. That boy trending on Twitter. I know we got it warmed up. I, the main thing is probably the guy saying he jumped in the transfer portal. Um, the, the damn lie, the tweet, the, the tweet saying he jumped in the portal. But that young young man, that young man out there trending, man. I'm glad we're in the middle of it. Uh, we're gonna get into some running backs, man. We're gonna get into some running backs and talk to you guys about the game and how the game is going. The transfer portal opening up on the 16th or Tuesday, right? Um, we're going to take a look at some running back, a little bit of film on some of them, some of the running backs that are out there. And this day and age, bro, um, anybody could be jumping in the portal. Uh, we're getting word on uh, some hints on some guys that could be jumping in the portal. We'll get into that uh, because we know the portal may be, the running back position may be a position that you and will be looking for to add some experience. Um but first off, man, we're gonna get let X give us his recap of the spring game since he was over there chilling with the. You, you was talking to Brian McKinney over there, X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and me and me, Matt was speak. Man, I, you know, I speak with all the former players, man. When they see me, mm -hmm. um, he was really impressed with Ola. He said he likes Ola. He likes Ola. He likes. Um, he he, he, all, he he say my uh, the first guy he, he spoke of was Inez Cool. You know, my favorite Kane. Yeah, he likes the O line. He likes the O line. Yeah. Um, man, the O line. Listen, after the game, after the game, when they, when they, when they, when the, when the team get get into uh, positions and the coaches talk to them after the game by position, man, the O line started doing drills or something, man. After the game, after the spring game, um, Mirabal is pretty, 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 pretty stiff with those guys, man. He he run a tight ship over there, man. And it shows, man. I I, I mean. Cam had a lot of time yesterday to pass the ball at times. Um, they all kind of did. Um, so, yeah, bro, um, get into what you saw yesterday, man. Then we'll get into some of these running backs we got. Yeah, so, you know, offensively, um, everything was vanilla. They basically was just, um, you know, just seeing who, who get out there, who make some plays. Cam, they let him control the offense. Um, as you see, what he only missed. Five passes yesterday, with his nineteen for twenty-four, for over three hundred some yards. You know, just getting on um, better, better connections with, with some of the wide right receivers, the tight ends, the offensive line did pretty good. Um, you know, the running back group they didn't do as good as I expected, which is why once we start talking about running backs, you know, you'll understand. But um, yeah, the offense did pretty good. The defense. They played man to man, so it was one of the times where they got beat a lot. You know what I'm saying? But um, overall, um, I'm happy with the progress. I'm happy with the progress. Anything? Anybody stuck out to you? Anybody surprised you? Well, I'm not gonna say it's a surprise, but Zay Hoy, Isaiah Hoy, and he did his thing yesterday. It's not a surprise, but it looks like he's ready to take take the next step forward. His mom and daddy said we don't, we'll never talk about him on our show. They said they watch us all the time. We'll never talk about it. Yeah, I talk about it. We talk about it all the time. We just wait, wait for him to take that next step forward, though. But, yeah, he's ready to take that next step forward. No, that man said him and Cam work out every day. And he was just like, 
Like, why should why should we not? Why 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 should we let up? Like, we ain't got no. We are trying to get there. What's the reason for not working out? That man said they work out every day. He hey, looks like it too, man. When, when when you seen him out yesterday at first, I looked and I was like, damn, almost kind of looked like he got the Kobe uh young body build. Like that's why I'm like, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, he don't he all he all jacked up, man. Now nah, he don't. Yeah, he done filled out. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but he was he's a name that stood stood out to, to us yesterday to me. Um I like the linebacker, man. Wesley. Yeah, Wesley look like he ready to take that next step forward too, man. Wesley like he ready West, to take that next Yeah. Anybody surprise you? That's what I'm saying. Like it's not so much as a bunch of surprises, it's just it's just like I'm seeing kids who probably didn't do much their first year, and then now they out there and it's looking like they ready. You know, so it's, it's not a surprise because I know the kids can play, but now they're starting to take step forwards to um, being a complete player and stuff like that. Um, what you – Ray Ray. Ray Ray, we always knew he was eventually going to um, start making plays, right? And now you're starting to see the light come on. Yeah, um, Ray, Ray, Ray Ray look good. Um, yeah, Ray Ray looks good, man. Uh, JoJo, Zay, obviously George and um, Restrepo. Look, that George, I mean, that um, Restrepo and Cam Ward connection might be even better. Yeah, and it was with TVD last year. Cause he, yeah, because he anticipates so well. Uh, he throws in space, and he anticipates so well, uh, and it comes out so fast. It, it's it's all it, it gives them chance, the guys chance to run with the ball. Uh, we have we had that in the round. Um, one thing we didn't talk about, man, was that pass that um, night car caught from Jakari. Um, that 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 pass to get the first down on our first drive. That was um, that ball was a little. A, a little in the middle, and that kind of dove and caught that, caught, caught that pass. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about JoJo, and you saw a little bit of JoJo on on that on that that, that little hitch that they threw or whatever that was, and um, he tried to get up out of there, um, but that boy Mish was coming. Um, but not car, bro. Quietly, quiet is kept, man. Not car. Somebody who I thought was going to have to get here and 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 get some route running. Uh, down pack because I heard uh, uh, he used to always take go deep, you know what I'm saying? Take the top off the defense. Not coming, making some noise, dog. Yeah, he's making look. It's two freshmen. He's a freshman, bro. He is. It's, it's two freshmen that's that's standing out a lot. That I, okay, I won't say night car is not expected because, like I said, I watched him, I watched a couple of his games in high school and the kid is wrong. But he, yeah, he's standing out, and the other kid is. Cameron Pruitt, um, you know, they call him Bobby. He, yeah, man. Pruitt? Yeah, that the linebacker, yeah, he's standing out big time. Um, that boy fast, ain't he? Yeah, he fast. He's he's, he's he's naturally a safety playing linebacker. You know, that so, boy fast. Derek Thomas type, not yeah, not Derek Thomas, um, Derek Brooks type, who's played for, for mm-hmm. FSU Buccaneers. He, 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 he's something like that. Fast, smart, yeah. Those two guys really standing out. Yeah, that boy. Um, I think somebody got somebody got loose. Man, and boy, he went and he went down, boy. Yeah, he went and got him. He went and, he went and got him. Was Strepo? I think it was. Yeah, that was that was Strepo when he, he broke the tackle of um, Jakari. Yeah, that was Strepo. 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 Yeah, 25 on defense, he broke the tackle and then um 22 men and ran him down. Right. Uh let's see. I don't want that in there. Get that out of there. Uh all right, now so let's get into the running back stuff. So so actually, if you had to guess, man, from one to ten, Miami's looking for a running back. Like, like in the portal, if you had to put a position first, what would be the position? Is it running back? Yeah, running back is probably number one. Well, <laughs> Running back and cornerback is one one A and one A. <laughs> running back and cornerback. Yeah, running back and cornerback is one A and one A. 
Running back and cornerback. Um, and you look for outside cornerback? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go through a couple of running backs, man. A couple of weeks ago, man, we put out a list. Um, on Caneville, actually, we put out a list of running backs. Let me see. Uh, top 15 running backs in college football. We put up a list, and and in, in any list that I've seen, um, the number one guy is like undisputed. Like the, the, the main guy, <laughs> it, it's all it's always the same guy, and and that's Oklahoma State's Ollie Gordon. Um, Ollie Gordon, man, two hundred eighty-five carries last year, seventeen hundred yards, average six yards a carry, twenty-one touchdowns. Uh, six one, two eleven, and 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 I'll tell you this: a kid like Ollie Gordon, right? Who's been at Oklahoma State? Let me see. He's been he was a true sophomore last year, so he was a true sophomore last year. So yeah, yeah, twenty two and twenty three. It looks like um he's been there. Um, who's who's probably <sighs> Oklahoma State probably do anything to keep him, but I'm gonna tell you like this: in this new Age of college football. When a, when when the kid is this good, um, if he has people around him, like business people around him, a lot of them are going to put their foot in the in the market, and you're going to start seeing more and more of it. Like what the Marys Mims did two years ago, what what big what Barry Alexander just did, you're going to start seeing more and more of them put their foot in the market to see what everybody's talking about. Especially when you got a guy like Martinez, right? Who we have on our list. Martinez, we have number 13 on our list, right? 13 best running back coming in next year. And X, Kyle, y'all say Martinez was demanding how much in the market? Well, he was saying he was um uh they was already going to pay him four hundred thousand. So I'm I'm hearing he won't want to add another two to that. <laughs> It'll get between six and eight. So it's like uh, you're going to test the market. You know, somebody's going to pay for him. Somebody's going to pay for him. Right. So so if our number 13 running back was getting 400 where he was at and he jumped in the portal trying to add 200 to it, then a guy like Ollie Gordon, a guy like Ollie Gordon, 800, 800 700? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be possible. Look, whatever. <laughs> now, Ollie Gordon, whatever he asks for, they're going to pay for it. As long as it ain't no ridiculous, like, ridiculous number. Yeah, why are you frowning? Oh no, nah, you just talk about like in comparison, you talk about number 13 <laughs> as for eight. Then it's like what could what could Ali Gordon possibly ask for? I'm like mm, too much for me, too rich for my blood. It, why are you saying it's too rich for your blood? You don't think to run that position? Talk to me. It's not the position, it's not the position, it's um what am I getting for my money? Ali Gordon is good, okay, really good. He may be number one. Hmm? Okay, well, let's see. Go ahead and talk. I said, well, let's see what you're getting in. Let's see. <laughs> uh, um, Ali Gordon is good and really good. He put up some really good numbers. Um, But there's no way in hell I'm paying him 800000 or over. Like, watching the tape. It's just for me. Just watching the tape. Is he a good back? Yeah, he's a damn good back. Um, 800000 No. 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 Not. Not. No. I don't. <laughs> mm -mm, not doing it. He's a good back and all that stuff, but. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not from the from the from the tape I saw. He's a good player, but all right, not 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 eight hundred thousand dollars worth, bro. Just 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 me, me personally. What you what you think, X? Uh, look, if he want eight hundred thousand. No more running back in the nation, though. Huh? He, 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 he want eight hundred thousand. All right, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> you you, 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 you think so? So you're gonna have a you're gonna have a one point five or whatever tied up in your quarterback, another eight hundred tied up in the running back. Yeah. Man, you gotta look if you want to win, man, and, and you need a running back that could carry the ball over two hundred plus times, you better get that man that money. <laughs> Plain and simple. Because now you're finna give him an O-line that's gonna block you. Got a quarterback that could do what he do. It's gonna make both of their job easier. Yeah. You know, yeah. So listen, I mean, I, I mean we all thought this was the pipe dream. Um, it's possible Ali Gordon, uh, it's possible Ali Gordon could 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 test the waters now and, and, and be in the portal come Tuesday. Um, rumors are, are, are swirling around, but 
even if that does happen, Oklahoma State probably going to throw the bank at them, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I think that they'll match whatever whatever's wanted. Um, and then it, it then it gets into, uh, I guess, if he feels that Oklahoma is a a, a, a team that could probably test the playoffs or something like that, you know, or, or does he just want to go into a better market? Right. So. Hmm. I don't know about the market thing. You already number one running back. What you looking for? <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, Yeah, a bit, so, uh, bigger market mean bigger defense. Better market mean better defense. So, <laughs> so you got to be careful with that one. He's 6'1", 211. Yeah, <laughs> that boy nasty, boy. I All said right, that. See, they, he's nice. Hey, they go get him, X. They don't back themselves in the corner. He let, he got, he let him win, so. He let him win, so it's hot seat for the old Mario crew if they go get him. <laughs> so, I don't know, dog. You go get him. You don't back yourself in the old corner, dog. Yeah, that's all in. That's a uh, that's a what they did at USC. That's what USC did last year. Uh, what? So you got to come with it. Uh, USC went all in for Caleb Williams last year. Them boys spent money when it got bad. All yeah. that stuff. Them boys spent money. They went for it. Yeah, See, USC. Caleb followed yeah, his yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah. Caleb followed his coach, so that was understandable. But for the number one running back. And yeah, it's different. Running back is different from quarterback. Quarterback is, you know, come on, you you gonna try to get the best one out there or somebody good. But running back is like if you look at the way Mario uses his running backs, you're saying, okay, well, is he gonna come in and get 200 plus carries or is he gonna come in and it's gonna be running back by committee? Right. That's my that's, that's another that's another thing, X. That's, right another, that's another good point you made. I feel like Mario, I mean again, I feel like if you're gonna bring him here. He gonna have to be that number one guy, and then probably be the only guy. So, yeah, to make it make right. sense, if you're gonna pay him, if you're gonna pay him anything that he asks, he got to be the bell cow. Like you can't have no, you know, splitting carries and not. Nah, man, he, he got to. If the ball in Cam hand has got to go to his hand, like every time, dog. So I don't know if Mario's willing to do that. Um, <laughs> every every time. Every time, if, if Cam ain't throwing it, that bitch got to be going to him. Mm -hmm. no, so, so just go look at look at this, look at look at you um stats from last year. Look at the running backs and see how divided the ball was getting distributed for, for all four four of the guys. I mean, uh -huh. shit. I think the highest was like what eighty carries, maybe something like that, and that was Paris. So it's like, man, right. mm -hmm. is this guy gonna come here for eighty carries? Right, he just like two hundred something. <laughs> 150 something last year. You think he gonna come in? That that's my only thing. Like, what if Mario what? sell running back to come? Then yeah, we we got we going all in. Well, that's hmm. that's 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 oh boy, that's how the game of bust. You do some shit like that, boy. If you got to pay that, that's how the game of bust, bro. I'm sorry, it ain't no yeah. This can't be no two losses. Three losses, nah. That's bust right there. We going to the playoffs and going far. If you get into the playoffs, bro, that's what you putting on the line. If you go and spend eight hundred thousand dollars on a running back, bro. Yeah. In the yeah. comment section, yes, 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 yes. In the comment section, yes or no, or running back for your for y'all University of Miami Hurricanes. Now shout out to the running backs that are there, like like Chris Johnson and Hellcat and these guys. Um. It's no knock on y'all because we think all y'all have bright futures. Um, Chris Johnson, hell cat. You got your boy coming in from St. Thomas. Um, it's just the fact that there's no experience in the backfield other than AJ Allen. And um, not sure where AJ Allen AJ Allen was kind of missing in and out last year. Yeah, he, uh, he, he got into the doghouse a little bit last year, but then when he got back in, right. he kind of helped, but he's hurt. Um, he's had um previous injury at Nebraska, so it's like who knows if he's going to be, you know what I'm saying, a full season running back. Mm -hmm. He been hurt three years, the last three years, right? Was he hurt at Nebraska? He got hurt a little bit last year, and now he hurt again. Right. Right. So, um, the boy say, spend that money. Yes, we need a running back. Spend that money. <laughs> Somebody saying the citizen um, not healthy. 
the citizen look healthy to y'all. That, 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 that run, he fumbled the ball. He that was the one the run run I saw. He had some bursts. He hit the hole pretty hard, but then he fumbled the ball. Yeah, I mean he's so I get he's not gonna look fully healthy because he still has that brace on. You know what I'm saying? Once he's able to take that brace off, then you'll see like okay, yeah, he, he's back healthy. But I didn't have a I mean, you know, he did his thing. Besides right. the phone, group, besides the phone, group, you know. So so all right. So this next dude on the list, um, the next dude on the list is is, is one that I think is 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 doable. I think about, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I think it's doable because he's so close. He's so close to us. He's from the state. Um, and that's the number four running back on football bill uh, list, R.J. Harvey out of UCF. Now, R.J. Harvey is had 226 carries last year, 1,400 yards, 16 touchdowns. He averaged 6.3 yards a carry. R.J. Harvey only knock is – RJ Harvey, 5'8, 195 pounds. Comment section, y'all talk to me. Here we go. Let me see. Yeah, Let's Mario, see Mario's, Mario's, not, yeah. Mario's not going after no 5'8 running back. <laughs> yeah, I'm precious. Right, kill that. <laughs> yeah, that's with him. Um, yeah, RJ Harvey is 5'8, 195 pounds, soaking wet on Thanksgiving. But he a dog. He is a dog. Yeah. Um, let me see. We got another one on him, too, right here. Where, where, where we at? R.J. Harvey. Yeah, that, that boy's a dog. I'm sorry. I like him. You like R.J. Harvey? I like him. No, nah, R.J. Harvey, tough. Um, five, eight, but five, eight. Ask me what you saying. You saying Mario like bigger, bigger running back? They want a big. They want a big back. They not. They not gonna go after no five eight guy. No. Yeah, no. Nah, they, they want somebody six feet. You know, got some power two two oh five two ten stuff like that. He not going out to the five eight guys. I mean, unless that's the only. What size got to do with it? I mean, six point three. 6.3 yards of carry and 6.3 yards of carry. Talk to me. What size got to do with it? Let's see. Last year he played against Georgia Tech. Who, 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 who Mario Light. Yeah. That's, that's, uh-huh. that's, that's the type of running back Mario Light. He won't be back. <laughs> Last year versus Georgia Tech, he had 120 yards. Uh, Houston, he had 136. Against Oklahoma State, he went for 206. I wonder how many Ollie Gordon had that game. Against Cincinnati, he went for 164. Against Kansas, he went for one third. All the running backs is in, in the Big 12, Big 10, whatever that is over that Big 12. Huh? All the running backs over there. Because that's the no defense league. <laughs> no one play defense over there. Y'all go. Don't nobody play defense but NCC, NCC. Leave it up to y'all. No, no, I'm saying don't nobody play defense in the Big 12. Nobody play defense in the Big 12, literally. Somebody say, how tall is Duke Johnson? 5'9", five, 5'10". But Duke was a superhero. We're not comparing anybody to Duke, okay? Duke don't come every day. All right? Um, we can't be comparing superheroes, just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but Duke was like 5'10". We got a 1,000 people in here, man. Hit the like button. Hit share. Shout out to y'all. Y'all just got in here. Y'all got to rewind back to let to hear X spring game breakdown. And um, Ja'Cory Brown is trending. He's trending on Twitter. Side of the hand, that boy went from four string to twenty trending on Twitter. <laughs> Shout out to him, dog. Listen, next, let me see next who we got on list. So, so y'all say he's too small, right? Okay, let me see. I get somebody in here with some size, huh? Nah, I, I, I ain't gonna say that, but I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say he's a small back, but. I'd add him, but again, it, it all comes down to price. It all comes down to price. I'm not paying high money for him neither, but I like him. You you think it, you saying it all comes down to money? Yeah, for me, it all comes down to money because we got other stuff we have to go after. And so just like I say, if, as good as Ollie Gordon is, I don't think he's worth almost a million dollars to add at running back. That's just yeah. not yeah. – I don't think so. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. not – they got money to blow. They they ready to spend the money. They ready because they they want to win. <laughs> so 
it ain't it ain't no issue. They want to go out the 15 guys and it's going to cost a lot of money, they're going to pay. Okay. I mean, I feel like we got money to blow then. We shouldn't have a problem with kids asking for more money. But... <laughs> <laughs> they spending them on their way, ain't they? Right, so it's, it's got to be some type of money, not money <laughs> issue, but it's got to be some type of limit to what we spend them. Some type of budget, or somebody, some type of. Uh, so then, okay, be. so we got somebody, we got somebody a little bigger. Um, let me see, somebody with a little more size. I'm gonna give y'all a cow Manunga. Now I know that's not a household name. Um, cow Manunga for Hurricane fans. When I explain to you who he is, y'all might have a nightmare. So close your ears. Cal Manunga mm-hmm. is at 242 carries for 1,262 yards, eight touchdowns. He averaged five yards a carry. He's not on our list. Um, he, he's one we threw in there as a, as a sleeper. But Cal Manunga is the Rutgers running back uh, that goddamn beat us by himself because the quarterback still ain't made a play. Uh, <laughs> Cal, 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 Cal Manunga, he's the Rutgers running back that, that basically beat us by himself. You know what I'm saying? Because the quarterback still ain't did nothing. Um, I think he's Nigerian or African. Yeah, hard pass. He, he's not impressive. We just did it to us. He's not impressive. Oh my god! You I, I don't me. know. Oh I, saw, I, 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 I saw. Up, I, 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 I saw. I saw that tape. That boy got up. feet and he's strong. <laughs> that man that boy got feet and he's strong. We can't take it no running back. Yeah. That running full seven. It's, it's oh nothing. my god! We can't take the guy that beat us. <laughs> I mean, we, 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 we too good for the guy that beat us ex. He could come here and guess what? He probably ain't gonna start. So I mean, why would you take somebody who ain't gonna start? If you're gonna take anybody, you're gonna take start a start. Who gonna who gonna start over him? X that nigga ran through our whole defense twice. He gonna do it in practice too. Man, this is Ohio State right here. He is not damn, on, yo, man, trust that's the Liberty playing some shit they ran. In the comment section, man, y'all jive with Cal Manunga? Y'all won't give Cal Manunga three hundred thousand. Hey, he don't look like no four seven. I bet he got feet too. Yeah, <laughs> that boy went straight line. That boy went downhill. And look at his feet though. He moves. He makes cuts. I like that dude. That boy went down still ain't on the ground. Hill. <laughs> that boy run down here. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't going for X? Not at all. <laughs> I, think X still, I, I think X still feeling still hurt, dog. Why my feelings would be hurt? They, I didn't get ran over a truck. But <laughs> 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 oh, I, think X, I think X feeling still hurt, Kyle. I think so, too. It's okay. See, mine is. What they say if, your, if yours ain't X, mine is. They like him. Uh, Eric like him. Eric Holmes say he'll definitely start here. X. Who say he'll start Eric, here? Eric Holmes. Eric Holmes say he'll definitely start here. Cal, uh, Cal, like Kelly Kane say he rocking with you, dog. He said he ain't going for it. I'm, I'm just keeping it in the buck. He, look, anybody else talking about him but Miami fans. So it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what they got to do with it? What are you doing? Hey, is his numbers is good in the conference that does play defense? What he had against Ohio State, like one sixty or something like that. Did he? Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, versus Ohio State, one fifty nine. Led the Big Ten in rushing versus Maryland. He only run well versus, versus the good team. Yeah, he only run well versus the good teams. <laughs> and they can't even pass. Yeah, so everybody knows he's getting the ball. Michigan State, 148. Temple, he had 165. All right. All right. All right. And he's, let's see, he's, uh, how big we say he is? 5'9", 110, 5'9", 210? Well, well I'm, what was his job for carry? Like five? five? Eight touch, yeah, eight touchdowns. How many carries he had? Two hundred. Hard pass. <laughs> hey, 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 
we gonna cut anybody that said we gonna let's go for the top dogs. We we not taking no more. No. <laughs> we ain't doing it though. Okay, the next guy we got on out there is, is our second running back on our top 15 list is Devin Neal. Devin Neal, 5'11, 210 pounds, 203 carries, 1280 yards, 16 touchdowns. That boy averaged 6.3 yards a carry, and he got a blowout hot top fade. I don't know how old this boy is. He got a blowout hot top fade. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Neil, Neil is Neil. nice, too. You like Neil? Neil now? is nice. Yeah, Neil is nice. Number four, Devin Neil. Let's see. We're going to get into some of his videos. Uh, yeah, Neil. Yeah, Neil got some size on him, huh? Let's see what we got on Neil. Yeah, nice. Neil can move. Neil got feet. He got feet, feet. I like that, brother. Mm. Mm. That boy, that's a one hit a quitter. <laughs> that's how big Neil is. Uh, let's see. He was five, five eleven, right? Like five eleven. Five eleven, two hundred ten pounds. Two ten. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I take Neil. I like Neil. He's good. I definitely take him. You like Neil? Uh, yeah. He's a little. He's a little. He's a little on the bigger side too. Um. Yeah. Damn. That's what that's just, That wasn't. Let's see. But yeah. Um. No, I like Neil. I I, I like Neil. I, this is the second, the, the second running back we got on our list. Let me see what his average was. He had 16 touchdowns, 6.3 yards of carry. Last year, let's see what he had, career stats. Yeah, 138 versus Kansas State, 154 versus UCF. Damn, they conference got all the running backs. 120. He didn't have any huge games. He just was consistently, he was just consistent in a lot of his games. One twelve versus Oklahoma. Who's the toughest team they played? Oklahoma? Texas, he had 45 yards, eight carries, 45 yards versus Texas. Comment section, man. Y'all like Devin Neal? I know y'all probably like, man, he's yeah. looking at everybody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, at most of them guys say they like no. him. Anybody can end up in that portal, dog. Like, like any. <laughs> Anybody can end up in that portal on Tuesday. Uh, years ago, me and X were saying, like, it's, like, it's not going to make sense. A lot of this stuff is not going to make sense uh, when it comes to the portal. And the first time we saw it, I think, was when when Alabama took Georgia Tech running back, Gibbs. And that was the first time I realized, like, oh, mm-hmm. I thought the portal was for this frontal kids. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and I realized that <laughs> um, Georgia that just won the national championship to go to Alabama. <laughs> Which one? What was the receiver who was actually he was committed to Miami one year? Then he ended up committing to Georgia. He plays for Georgia for two years, and then he he transferred to go to Alabama. And I'm like, nigga, you just won the championship. Boy <laughs> said that thing don't matter, boy. Ooh. Jermaine Burton, yeah, him. Burton, yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that cash, X? Did Bama right, have their so spring game week. yet? Ooh. Mm. Anybody know? Did Bama have their spring game yet? Anybody know? They gonna let yeah, yesterday. I, I I need to check because uh, what's his name there for the spring, right, X? Um, what's our boy name? Uh, what is his name? The running back. 
Uh, what's the running back name that that decommitted from us and went to Bama? Yeah, oh, Riley. Okay. I want to see if he played. Yeah, I want to see if he played. Oh, I'm I'm not even sure. Kevin hmm. Riley. Yeah, Why I'm back trying to the hell out of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next one we got on the list, man, is Football Bills number seven running back, Texas Tech Taj Brooks. You think Texas Tech paying them kids over there? All the school in Texas paying kids, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Taj Brooks, mm-hmm. 5'10", 230 pounds. Like a little bowling ball. Man. Yeah, that's a big boy. 5'10", 230 pounds, 290 carries, 1,500 yards, 10 touchdowns. He averaged 5.3 yards a carry um, last year. Uh, had 170 yards, 31 carries, 170 yards versus Baylor. 31 carries, 146 yards versus 2CU. 24 carries, 182 yards versus UCF. Uh, I'm going to go watch some of these highlights. But yeah, they, I mean, you got Kansas. They all over here. Yeah. 30 carries versus BY. But this boy, this boy got some, some, some carries on him, no? Man, yeah, that's he big. Let's see. He carried the ball Let's 30 times. <laughs> he won. One, Ricky, two, three, four. Ricky Williams, brother. 30 times, four or five times. Man, he might not have no tread on this tire. God damn. We <laughs> <laughs> got some size on him, boy. Let's see. Taj Brooks out of Texas Tech. Hmm. That's a, that's a, a short run. Let's see what else we got on Taj mm-hmm. Brooks. He was 230 pounds, they say. Yeah, he'd be pretty healthy. Oh, he knocked that boy helmet off, didn't he? Ooh. ooh. Mm. Okay. Slow, huh? Two hundred thirty pounds. You can't be that fast, huh? Uh, right, right. Yeah, all right. Breaking tackles. And that's what you want to see from a dude that big. I want to see no Brandon <laughs> Jacobs bullshit. <laughs> what? What? We just see Brandon Jacobs ran so. Yeah, yeah. Tiptoeing in. No, I used to be with Brandon Jacobs a lot when Georgia used to play Florida, man, because you know he coached football. That's a big guy, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, that's a huge. Big guy. Yeah. Dude, he wasn't soft, that's right? what I'm saying, but I just wanted him. He right. just could have. He just had a little Mike Allstar in him, boy. Sheesh. When you see him, he looks like a defensive end or something, dog. Mm. So this is Taj Brooks, man, out of Texas Tech. Don't look bad. No. You don't look bad. So X the street. Do you so like I, I uh, like one thing we've never had was a struggle for running backs. Do do you feel like are we just our backs are not up to par? Like what is it? Is it just that we looking because we indecisive right now because these guys are young? Like what are y'all what is it? Not healthy, man. You gotta gotta be healthy. Mm-hmm. The flesh is yeah, out, but, Allen is out. Citizen is, 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 you know, he's been injured two years in a row. You're not healthy. Paris leaves. Now you need running backs because you don't know who's going to be healthy. And yeah, but we're looking for a starter. And that's never really, that's never been a thing for us. Like if somebody get hurt, we always got running backs. A starter isn't healthy. Right. Isn't going to be available for the season. So you need a starter. But that's what I'm saying. Like we always, okay, um, like if, if, if DJ Dallas go, if, 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 uh, uh, who is it? DJ Dallas goes down, you got Travis Homer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you, if, that's what I'm saying. That. Like, I thought it was Fletch, right? Um, or, or Henry Paris. Henry Paris gone, Fletch is hurt. You don't have no starter right now. You got back. That's that's a, I don't know. We used to get, we get on our third guy, he's still a starter. That's what that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, he's a starter because he's 
You got to play him. But, but, I don't, I, but, but Cal, I think we are two out third guy, right? That's what I'm saying. But we've no, never had an issue to where we get to our third guy. guy and he couldn't. Oh, well, we, yeah. We lost oh. two. We lost, two. <laughs> we lost three. Oh, yeah, AJ we lost Allen. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we lost four. We lost three. We lost Cheney. Four. You lost, you lost Cheney. You lost Paris. And, and, and Fletcher is injured. Mm. We, lost, mm. we, lost, we, we lost four. Fletcher, Paris, Cheney. And AJ Allen not back yet. Right. So, so who's so, there right yeah. now? It's what Citizen, Citizen Johnson, Citizen, Chris Johnson, and, and, and Chris Humphrey. Those are the only three running backs on scholarship okay. available. You're right. I got you. I got you right. Hmm. So the next guy we're going to look at, man, is Jack Chris Hunter. I think he split carries with somebody at Auburn. Um he had 159 carries, 900 yards, seven touchdowns. I think he was splitting carries with somebody. He was ranked. What we got him at on here? Yeah, our number six running back. Jaquiz Hunter. I think he flirted with the um I think he flirted with the NFL and came back this year. He 5'10, 210 pounds. Let's see. Let's see what we got on Jack Chris. Let's see. Right. What'd you say he what? He five he, he five what? Five ten two hundred and ten pounds. Oh, okay. That's a good size. Yeah, all right. But run hard, huh? Mm-hmm. You don't look five ten, do it? Hmm. You don't look five ten at all. No, you sure don't. <laughs> I say somebody might be lying. NFL <laughs> State, he just ran over, bro. NFL State, he just ran over. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. If you just get in here, man, we're looking at uh we start with Ollie Gordon, the number one running back in the nation. We're just taking a look at a couple of running backs. Uh I think that's let me see. I think that's the last one we're gonna take a look at. We went through Neil and, and Hanna and and but we're, we're looking at all these running backs because when 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 Tuesday come, um yeah, it ain't no such thing as loyalty no more in football. The bug might hit your the bug might hit Miami. Um, yeah, I remember how I felt last year when Tyler was saying he was getting in the portal. All y'all was crying. I don't want to hear that shit. All y'all was crying. Even you, Maddie, stay in the back. All y'all was crying. <laughs> what Tyler doing, man? He ain't playing. Come on, man. These new kids, man, they were for damn, man. Come on, Tyler. The reports of Tyler's been at, in Alabama throwing the ball and working out and flirting with Bama. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Rich's credit though. Rich was the first Rich Rich was the first one. That Rich said, "Fuck him, let him go. We can't be held hostage by no damn TVD." I'm gonna get Rich. Oh, I'm gonna get Rich's prop. I was taking up the TVD. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man. All y'all was crying in the comment section, dog. All y'all was crying because TVD was gonna leave. TVD, Alabama, Alabama winning national championship with TVD. Oh man! <laughs> ah, 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 in the comment section, does Alabama oh God. win a national championship? Because you know, you know they was gonna figure out. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was gonna be they were they was gonna finish the same way with Jalen Hurts. One read out of bounds. Sit your fucking depressed ass down. Sit your ass down, boy. One read <laughs> out of bounds. They was gonna figure out how to use him. I think he would have got first, rocked too hard. I, th- I think first, somebody would have made him quit, bro. First time I say, hell no. Nah. Uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I think playing against playing against them teams like Georgia would have made him quit. I don't know. <laughs> no. no, listen. Y'all sure? Y'all don't y'all don't think TBD upgrade from Miro last year, Miro. Now Miro this year. Probably be better than TVD. You know what I'm saying? I think he's right. gonna come into his own this year. Um, everybody saying no. X. Mm. It's a good question. <laughs> Man, that boy. That's a good question. And again, the quarterback battle in Wisconsin. So no. No. Nah. Yeah, nah. Man, y'all remember how TVD looked with one read, Leslie? Yeah. And now, he, <laughs> now you got who he had to came up down. Who he had out there throwing the ball to? Mm. But but this year, last know. year around this time, man. Um, shout out to Amp Parker, man. Shout out to Amp Parker. Amp Parker being IOD squad religiously. That's how it's supposed to be, Amp. Mm. You gonna look back on this thing, Amp, and be like, God damn, thank God, goddamn freedom. Hey. <laughs> Check this out. This year around this time, we were scared out of our goddamn mind because Rosenhouse had done put news out there that TVD was flirting with Alabama. And 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 the staff lost their mind. Went to scrambling and shit, went to having car watches and shit and trying to grab the money. <laughs> they lost <laughs> their mind and gave them all the money, fool. Um yeah. Uh huh. If they let TVD go, bro, <laughs> I think I think we had a better place today. If they let TVD I, go, I what agree. y'all think? I I agree for sure. We I wouldn't have Ken Ward. Coming. We wouldn't have Ken Ward. Uh, no, I don't think. I don't think. So. I don't know, but. I, I, but I was just having this conversation because I'm thinking, like, I was talking. I'm like, listen, that Georgia Tech game after, I mean, I'm gonna use, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use Brown. Of course, y'all know that's our guy, but I'm gonna use Brown. The Brown could have just duplicated what he did in Rutgers for the rest of the season, numbers wise. Which is, think about what I'm saying. 181. I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna even use the two touchdowns that he should have got, but. The last couple of games, if Brown would have came in, gave us 181 yards, uh, three touchdowns, and one interception every single game. What game would we have lost besides probably North Carolina because we would have needed points to keep up? I'm not saying that to hype up Brown, but I'm just showing how like how 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 right. TVD torpedoed our season. Like all we needed was the basics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Minimize the turnover and right. score some touchdowns. Three touchdowns to one pick every single game. I don't see us losing the game besides maybe North Carolina because <laughs> they put up points. Like that's right. how bad TVD was for us, bro. Right. Hmm. Wow. Coaching birds don't cover with a bit of talent. I don't know. Yeah, dog. One read last year, dog. One read last year. TVD looked like it was a star, dog. We're going to read last year. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so, so man, so, so, FG, before we get out of here, dog, you say 100%. We got 1,300 people in here, man. Shout out to that. If you're on Twitter, make sure you, make sure you follow it, man, and you ain't acting goofy like people was acting last week. Uh, make sure you follow if you're on, YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe, drop a comment, drop us a question. We'll answer the questions in the comment section. Um, drop a question there if you got a question. But for sure, X, you think we may go get an experience back? Yeah, we, we definitely going to get us an experience running back. Um, de- definitely getting us some, 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 some more corners, maybe one or two, uh, or even it could be a corner and a safety, um, a defensive line. Um, a wide receiver, 
Uh, yeah, that's about it. Probably like five, five more guys. So, yeah. Hmm. And then you know we're gonna lose some guys too. So hey, it's a part of it's part of college football right now. You think we're gonna lose any starters? <clears throat> um, it's hard to say because we they still ain't officially getting out who got them starters yet. <laughs> right. 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 I mean, I mean, potential potential starters in your eyes. I mean, um, so instead of saying potential starters, ask key players. They just say key players. If you say key players, then I can give you some names. Just okay. Do you think it ain't gotta be a name? Just do you think we'll at least lose key players that we have to replace? No, um, no, no. Okay. I think if it, it'll be like a, a key backup that you know we'll need, but then you can play, you can replace. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um. Somebody said, "What's up with JB?" That's what we're here for. JB trending on Twitter right now. Well, that's that's what's going on. JB done went from four string quarterback to trending on Twitter, though. Um. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess they have their exit meetings with University of Miami. I'm assuming that's how, how they're going to have to work. Um. Listen, the kid has been he's been through a lot though. It's me, he's been through a lot. His meeting's going on today. His meeting's gonna go on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um some some people are, are, are getting the sorry, we gotta let you go. I mean, nah, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say it like that, but they're getting the they're getting the talk. Hey, maybe it's best for for you to seek you know a better opportunity somewhere else. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, J Dub, just let me address J Dub comment real quick. I understand what you're saying, but I was just saying if we got those simple numbers, it could have been from any quarterback. If we got those simple numbers, dog, we would have had a better season last year, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> we didn't even need TVD to be first four games TVD. We just needed you to do the bare minimum, dog. That's all we needed, bro. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I believe a lot of reasons we were in games with Emory because Emory don't really make mistakes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He, he don't. He don't really make mistakes, and I think that he he give you a chance to win. He doesn't give the other team momentum. He doesn't. You know what I'm saying? That's why. And don't you, and don't you yeah. think that's the reason why Mario and the staff likes him so much? Because they saying, "Well, look, yeah. he's not gonna make us lose the game." He not, he's not gonna lose. No, even man. though that's that's even though that's pussy football, but he's not gonna make us lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> he not. He's not, you know what I'm saying? It's just like it's just like it's just like getting the punt, mate. Hey, we rather just we rather just feel right. the punt and, and yeah, mm -hmm. and not and not put Robbie back there and let Robbie fucking grow up and turn into a big man. Shout out to Robbie. I saw Robbie yesterday. I say Robbie Nixon, though. You was happy as hell before that bowl game. You you was supposed to play, huh? You man, he said, hell yeah. <laughs> he was to get in. I think no, you had to be about to be, you had to be promised to play though. You were happy in the mug before that bowl game. But in time, mm -hmm. he, he understands patience and I, I am proud of Robbie and Bobby. What Bobby was at yesterday? Um yeah, he didn't, he didn't I know. I don't see I ain't seen him out there yesterday. I don't know what was he might say something about a friend of but say, I think they were looking he, at the old yeah, the same thing. Oh, oh I thought funeral? somebody said he was at the auntie funeral. They said auntie funeral or something. Was, the auntie was a week ago, though. Remember, they missed the other scrimmage because of the auntie. Maybe that's the last picture he put up. We got to figure out what happened to Bobby. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. And Mal Gore wasn't there either, was he? You say who else? Who, Francis? Francis, yeah. Yeah, well, he didn't play now. They, they weren't going to play regardless. They weren't playing. Okay. But, yeah, but now... um. I hope you hear this, Robbie and Bobby. I ain't gonna get all into their business, their personal business, but I am proud. We're going to what year two with the boys? Yep. I'm proud. I am proud of them. You know what I'm saying? I am so proud of them that that what they're growing into, knowing where they came from. No, you know what I'm saying? I am I am proud of them too, man. I think Robbie played for six goddamn high schools in high school. When I interviewed Robbie, he was in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. He was in Tennessee about to play. Was, yeah, so I am so proud of them dudes, man. I hope somebody screen record this and send it to them, bro. I, I'm, I'm proud of them dudes. Um, and and and, and that the fact that they still going. And I guess a shout out, shout out to Miami too. 
because uh, I'm sure Miami has endured things, and I'm sure they endure things with these kids all the time, and, and they're not giving up on them with every time that they mm-hmm. fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them for that. But I'm really proud of Robbie and Bobby, bro. And and, and if that story ends, how it's supposed to end, man, that that's gonna be a hell of a story. Um, that's yeah. how you know. Um, one of the little homies, man, been knowing the kid for a little minute. He he uh, is a South Florida kid, so you know, I always show love to them. Uh, he went to Baylor. Um, he entered the transfer portal. He's a safety. Shout out to Alfonso Allen. He's looking for, you know, he wants he wants to get him another team. So college coaches, hit me up or if you see this, reach out to Alfonso Allen. He's available. He in the portal? Uh, yeah, he's in the portal. I remember that name. I remember that name. Miami Central. Miami Central and Hollandale. Remember they was at Hollandale with, with Rose Green and then he went to Central? Uh okay, I got you, got you. I was like, I know I remember yeah, that name. Not, I got not a big kid, not that big, just a just a football player. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I remember. Um, why he got in the portal? What happened? Anything happened? Oh, um, well, you know, they coach end up. I think the coach who, who who got him there, they end up getting fired or let go, something like that. So he's um you know, yeah, you know, you know how they go. <laughs> what was this then? Safety. Okay. Nah, Fonzo Allen, football player, bro. Straight up. All right, man, before we get out of here, anything, man? We got 1,500 in here. Make sure y'all hit the like button and share. Um, tell me they here for JB, man. JB, JB just going, taking it day by day. Uh, I, I, but what he did yesterday in the spring game, though, I would only think uh, put pressure on the staff. Had to put some pressure on the staff. Had to. Um. To to, and I don't know, and unless they just some arrogant motherfuckers, and they just ain't gonna change their mind. But they had to put some pressure on the staff because God and everybody saw it. Jesus was in the stands. God was in. The stand. It was in front of everybody. Everybody seen it. Um, so I don't know who caught the ball in, but <laughs> but. It had to put some pressure on them, some perspective because of how the week went and how everything went down with Mario bullying me and all of that. So where we at now is you waiting and seeing. You know what I'm saying? I got bullied, dog. They said, as everybody <laughs> said, Street and Mario put you in your place. I got put in my finger, put you in your place. Told you what to do. Street ain't got tough. He put me in my place. He put me in my place. Uh-huh. Mm. Hey, uh, man, uh, hey, shout out to everybody in the comment section who took notice. And y'all trying to cheer me up, telling me Gambit ain't dead. I know what I saw with my eyes. I don't know. We're going to wait and see. But uh, they tell me Gambit dead? ain't dead. I, Gambit. I, I know what I saw. They know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, man, um, we're going to see, man, Transfer Porter going to be live. X been saying for a long time this going to be, yeah, I think X said this going to be the craziest Transfer Porter yet. So... Let's hope we got money to spend. Let's hope we spend it wisely. And um, I don't know, man. Y'all don't get too up, get too down, man. It's going to be a long week. That's all I can say. Yeah, I don't know when the portal close it. We got money. All that goddamn begging they've been doing for Kane's Connection, they better have some money. When the portal close it. Uh, it's, it's only open for 15 days, so it'll open and then it'll close on the 30th. Okay. Right. You're going you gonna to see. I hope somebody back channeling some. Some 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 guys we missed on before, man. Somebody need to call CJ Baxter and ask him how you doing. It might be too hot in Texas or something. So, <laughs> no, is you is is losing Najee Kelly gonna hurt us really? That, that's cause, because I was hoping to have Mesidor Najee Kelly and your boy on the line, Bane. Um, that put a dent in us. Ask we gonna have to play somebody young or something. Um, yeah, you you know we have to play somebody younger, but it, it ain't gonna hurt us as much. Um, yeah, I would love for him to be here, man, but it's part of business. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, Bishop was in the background. I got to see you, folks. I saw Cable before, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, we got something with that. Najalik, man, I, I, I personally think, um, I've always said this about Najalik. Not to me, Najalik was the, y'all got to understand what I'm saying, please. Najalik was the best pure pass rusher i thought he had the best bend and he was strong um right. that doesn't i'm not saying he was better than bane that's not what i'm saying so um you can't miss what you don't what you didn't have i guess 
because you know he was out he wasn't he wasn't healthy so we didn't get to see him grow up you know what i'm saying um i wish him the best though the man got talent though you know what i'm saying and i i, I hate that we don't have him no more but i was looking forward to that rotation of defensive ends bro i really was yeah, yeah uh studio yeah. one just said it best ben but we kept using him as a cut i didn't like that like send, i know that's gives his defense i get it i didn't like how much we were sending him out there in the flat bro that man should have been straight to the quarterback every time so uh, we'll see hope he recover and rebound man you know remember he first got mm-hmm. here in practice and he used to be going up under them tackles <laughs> get to yeah. the quarterback when he first got here <laughs> uh-huh. oh crazy ben dog crazy ben Hurricane three thirteen said, "Do y'all not not like Emory Williams as the second quarterback?" Listen, bro, I, I'm gonna tell you this. I I like Emory. I think Emory's a solid quarterback. Like I said, as a freshman, he went in there and didn't make mistakes. He can only get he can only get better. Um, my only argument was is that I knew Jakari was better at this point. I knew it last year, and I know it now. That was my only argument. Now, do their games look different? Yes, their games look different. When Jakari throw the ball in the ground, he's erratic. When anybody else throw the ball in the ground, it's an incomplete pass. Um, their games look different. So I'm good with Jakari and Emery. Reese, whatever Reese showed them in practice, he didn't show yesterday. And I was kind of banking on that because I just thought that, man, this is a new level. He you gotta at least get comfortable. I, that's how I that's how I felt. You, you know what I'm saying? So whatever he showed them in practice, he didn't show yesterday in the game. It's just a spring game. It's one game. Um, but just because I think Jacory is better than both of them doesn't mean that I don't think Emory could play. Emory shows us he could play every time he gets in the damn game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he can play football. I just think Jacory gives us more options and further along at this time. That makes sense, Kyle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and was it look? But it wasn't the point you was making is the same thing they we, we we just had this list of running backs up here, right? And everybody was like, "Too small, I don't want him." Yada yada yada. But when right. you were saying like Reese coming from G five, he five ten, like that's not the kind of you guys don't look at that and say, "Yeah, yeah." But once you get him, and the coaches got him because everybody kind of wants to back the coach. People are like, "Man, I saw his taping." Blah 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 blah, and it's just like, bro, this is another level. You bring in a five foot ten quarterback and nothing against him. If you can play, you can play. That's not what I'm saying. But it, it, it's a different level. He's gonna have to get used to this level, and you know we'll we'll see if he can do it or not. But it's the same comments I was just making about Harvey. Uh, he too small. He playing in the conference that don't play no defense. But goddamn, when does this shit stop? Does it is it like that for the running backs and not for the quarterbacks? Like which one? So I, I don't know. But you know, yeah, um, what you what you said makes makes a lot of sense, man. Shout out to shout out to Emory, man. I I like I like I like Emory too. I really yeah, do. I, I, yeah, I like Emory. I just think him and JB are different kids, um, different games. Um, I, I don't know. I, I um, does JB has a higher has a higher ceiling, and he has some growing to do. Like like I said, like Emory them Emory and Reese, they kind of look like what Dawson is asking a quarterback to do. JB is working on getting there. Um, what you saw him yesterday, bro? All our bits third down. The man threw a, a, a touchdown that ESPN somehow didn't fucking catch. ESPN <laughs> with three and a half thousand cameras. Don't catch a touchdown. <laughs> I, I saw that. I thought that was so weird. I was like, I'm looking at the replay. I say, damn, did he get the other angle? <laughs> I, I was standing in the back of the end zone when it happened, but. And it was like, oh, he dropped back. Third down is up. Oh, that's a touchdown, guys. We promise. All right. Next, go to the commercial. <laughs> exactly. Right. Shout out whoever had the other angles. I know what thing who was. I think Barry Jackson replayed it and uh somebody. I don't, whoever had the other man, shout out to y'all. We appreciate y'all. With y'all one camera versus day 300. Right, <laughs> right, right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we still got people in the comment section talking about can JB consistently throw the ball. Man, fuck this. Let's get out oh, of here, guys. Man. Hey, <laughs> All right, yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey, man, hey, we good night, man. We we'll appreciate it. Man, hit the like button and share. <laughs> man, sorry, this better go eat some brownies or something, man. I don't know. I'm out of it, dog. Um, 
But we out of here, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Mitty, Mitty, shut it down, man. Let's throw up in the comment section again. Shut it down, Mitty. Shut it. <laughs> Cut it. Shut it. <laughs>